Okay, so we have the heat press is good and heated up right now. We have it set to 400 degrees. We'll talk about this later about how to change the settings, but I can always change the settings. It'll show me the temperature. Then it'll show me the, how long it will be for the first heat press time, how long for the second. I am both set to 55 seconds because I'm gonna be doing dye sublimation and there's, it's just the 55 seconds. There's no heating up of the product, okay? And you make sure that the lights are all turned off here when you're about to do the uh, heat press. Okay, so next thing, we have the platen here and these platens change out. You can't see it, but there's a lever on bottom. So I can change this out, I could turn it or take the whole thing out. Sometimes you want shirts to go, if it's a full front like this, I can have this one. I have a bigger one, a bigger platen if we need that as well. Today I'm gonna have it on sideways like that. We also have smaller platens, so here's a four by four platen, okay? That would be if we're gonna do something for the sleeves. And we also even have a 16 by 16 platen if we had to do something bigger. But for dye sublimation, we're usually gonna be using this platen right here. Next thing is we have our silicone sheet. All right, the silicone sheet is going to protect what, whatever we heat press, okay, and to protect our, our heating element up top. All right, to load the shirt, we are just going to throw the shirt on and try to get everything lined up. We have to make sure that we split the shirt by the platen so that we don't accidentally put the dye sublimation on the front of the shirt as well. We're gonna do the back right now. So I line up the corners first, and I'll scroll down a little bit here so you can see that. All right, so I line up the corners there first. All right, so I push it in, make sure these corners line up, make sure it's even on both sides. So right now it's not, I'm gonna scoot it over a little bit. Okay, once it looks like it's good and even, then I can slide it together to where I need to put it. All right, now we're gonna take our, um, whatever we're gonna do, and it's going to be mirrored. We have to make sure that it's well aligned and gonna be square. I don't have my square right here on me, but I, have, I can kind of square it out with my fingers as well. The bottom isn't hot, only the top is hot. So I can touch this, it will, it will heat up. After doing a lot of these heat press, um, this will get pretty hot, but right now I haven't done anything yet, so it hasn't, it hasn't gotten hot yet. I have it lined up the way I want it. I take my silicone sheet and just carefully lay it flat so I don't move the, uh, move the paper underneath. All right, and now I'm just going to gently push it down and it's going to hold. All right, this all, part, all, of this, all of this right here is going to be hot. You do not want to touch any part of the top of the, the heating element. That will be hot, all right? You can see the time is counting down. Maybe you can't completely. Let's pop it up a little bit now. Raise it up a little bit there. Okay. Okay, with three seconds left, it's gonna count down. And pop up. Take away my paper. And there's a shirt. Done and dye sublimated, and that will be nice and permanent on there, okay? One more thing is that we do always have to adjust the knob. So you'll see adjusting of the knob up here to adjust the pressure. So this is where we adjust the pressure. Right now we have it set at the ni nice number, but usually before you put your first shirt and in, in uh, anything on there, you wanna test the pressure, push it down to make sure it's at the pressure you need. And that'd be something we talk about before you start doing it. 